Hello to the girlies, gays, and bays. I know it's been a while since I've posted, but today I'm back with a makeup video. So I was at Walgreens picking up my little, you know, antidepressants. <laughs> and I was in Walgreens and I walked past the beauty aisle and I was just gonna get a pair of lashes, but tell me why I spent $100. Yes, I did spend $100, but I also got a bunch of stuff, new stuff to try, and I needed new foundation anyway, because mine was literally three years old and actually crusty. Ah, you better stop! So today's video is just gonna be chill. It's gonna be like we're on FaceTime, like we're just straight vibing. Gonna start with primer, as always. It's I Do Care Straight Radiate, and it's like glittery? And I'm trying to look like I have the Korean glass skin vibes, even though I only do skincare when I'm manic. Now for foundation, this is new from Maybelline. Well, it's not new, it's new to me, but it's by Maybelline. Dream Radiant Liquid. It was $11. <laughs> I like that it has a pump so you don't have to put your nasty ass fingers into the foundation. And I don't know if it matches because I wasn't about to stand there in the Walgreens and open up the foundation, so. Okay, way too dark. Way too, fuck, <laughs> way too dark. We'll make it work, it's fine. I, oh my god, <laughs> ah, this definitely doesn't match, um, I don't, I don't know what to do, we're, I'm just gonna keep going, because what else am I supposed to do at this point? <laughs> Using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm gonna do the TikTok concealer, the lifting, you know, you know how it is, if you know, you know. I think after the concealer, it it doesn't look as dark anymore. It's starting to like even out. I don't know. I don't know. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? So summer's coming up. Tell me, what are your plans for the summer? Like, what do you want to do? What are you going to get up to? You know, are you going to go anywhere? Are you going to travel? I wish I could travel, but I am saving up money for a car so I can get the fuck out of here. No, I'm just playing. I'm saving up money for a car so I can drive away from all my problems. <laughs> While I'm baking, I'm going to do my brows off camera because there is no way I'm going to be able to do them on camera. And I know, I know my eyebrows are very dark. I like them this dark. Cry about it. So I think for the eye look, I want to do like, okay, a blue, like dark blue in the crease. And then I'm going to cut the crease and do like a bright blue with a lighter blue. Oh, you'll just see it. You'll just see it when it's done. I don't want to describe it anymore. I'm just gonna pack in the color first and then blend it in afterwards. So I'm gonna take a lighter blue and then just blend that out. So we'll use, actually I'm gonna use white, why not? And then I'm going to take a really, really dark, like almost black, and put it in the 
crease. And I look crazy. Fine, whatever, fine, that's fine. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. I'm going to cut the crease off camera and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to take this blue and pack it onto the inner corner and then I'm gonna fade it out real nice. I'm gonna actually do it in this mirror over here because it's gonna be easier for me to see because you know I'm blind as a bat. Okay, I'm going to wipe away the bake. All right, now we're gonna cunt tour. Let's talk, let's just like chit chat. I wanna it to feel like we're on FaceTime, you know? I wanna tell you guys why I'm not in therapy right now. And also I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and clean up some of the fallout and whatnot and make the line sharper. So, I met this new therapist and she was really, really good. And we started talking and in one session she made me cry, she made me like, cry tears of like realization and like deep you know we were getting in into it deep deep right and I was like wow this is such a good therapist we are gonna like do so much healing and inner child work and like I'm gonna be so mentally healthy and then she had a heart attack she had a heart attack she had to have like open heart surgery and so I only did one session with her and then she was off for all these months. And because I'd only had one session with her, her other clients were in front of me. So when she came back from surgery, um, I was on this waiting list and I've been on that waiting list since and I still haven't gotten in with her. So the other day I just decided I would call them back and it's like the free clinic around here because you know, I don't got money for the nice therapist. I have, I have the free therapist, okay? So, yeah, it's low income. So, there's a lot of people on the waiting list and whatnot. But I got in and I'm going next week. I'm going to see the therapist. It's a guy. So, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. Might fuck around and fall in love with him. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, this needs to be blended out a little more. So, we're going to do that. But I don't know, guys. It's kind of like, it's kind of scary when you're meeting with a new therapist because you have to tell them all, all the times that you've like flipped out. You have to tell them, oh, you know, I was suicidal from the years 2012 to 2016, whatever. I literally hate the sound of my voice sometimes. Like, I think when I hear myself talk, and I'm just listening to it like in real life. It doesn't sound bad. But then when I record it and I'm like, I'm when I go to edit this, I know I'm going to be like, ugh, I hate the sound of my voice. Do y'all feel that way? Is that this? I think that's like a universal thing where you like the sound of your voice normally. But then when you hear it, when you hear it played back, it sounds weird. Okay, time for eyeliner. Okay, so this is NYX. This is like bright purple. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a big old wing and then maybe I'm gonna do a little fishtail. Maybe I'm gonna spice it up a little, you know. I can't stop making that face. I literally can't stop making that face. Um it consumes me. Okay. What do you guys think? You see, I did the little fishtail. I mean, it didn't turn out perfect, but you know, close enough. So I kind of went crazy getting lashes. I think I spent like $20.
because this was 15 by itself so 25 and then these were five so which one should I do I'm thinking these yeah it is so hard like I didn't realize when I started my YouTube channel how hard it is to put your personality like the way you want to portray yourself how to put that in front of the camera because it's so awkward just like talking you're like you're not talking to a person I'm talking to a, a camera right now it's awkward you like you don't know you can you don't just start off by saying every thought that comes to your mind you know it's like in the back of your head you filter what you think and what you want to portray versus what you say to the camera so I I feel like I'm still getting used to like showing what my personality is and since I have BPD it's kind of hard to figure out like what is my personality like what do I show to the camera like who am I as a person you know Look at me having a little identity crisis on a Wednesday afternoon. I always have to cut the lashes so small and it makes me feel like I wasted money on them because I'll pay like $25 for a really nice pair of lashes and then only use like $15 of it. Does like does that make sense? Because I'm cutting off so much because my eyes are so small. That's why I like brands like Doe where they make lashes specifically for Asian eyes. Well, I haven't tried it, but I've heard of it and I just like the concept where like it's a lash for smaller eyes. But I don't know if they make just natural lashes cuz like I'm not a natural lash person. Like I need I need the volume and the length and the everything, you know? Okay, so this is the lash glue I use. This is the best. Don't use Duo, okay? I'm telling you, like, personally, I've used both. I can't, I think this Kiss glue is better, and it comes, get the kind not in the squeezy tube, but the kind with the brush, because the kind with the brush is just, it's easier to apply, trust me. What else should I talk about? I don't know. Oh, motherhood. So, I've definitely noticed, now that the baby's a little older, it's a lot different taking care of her. She has so much more personality now. It's like, before I was just like keeping something alive, you know? Like there was no connection there. And like, I loved her, but I don't know. It felt like taking care of like a pet, not a person. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. Now she's like, she's got a personality. Like she gets angry, she gets sad, she gets happy. When she wants to pick you to pick her up, she'll like put her arms up and it's it's like you can tell she's becoming a person and it's so much more fun it's so much easier too but maybe I just feel like taking care of her is easier because my postpartum depression has gotten better but I don't know I basically have the same routine with her when I get up you know we chill for a little bit I change her diaper I feed her solids then she takes her first nap and then you know she plays in her when she wakes up she plays in her playpen and you know I feed her more solids and then she takes another nap and then we just have a lot of downtime in the afternoon and then her dad comes home and you know she goes to sleep and we go we do like we do go on our little walks and stuff around the neighborhood just to switch it up but it's like the same thing every day I think I'm used to looking at the camera too I mean I know I'm doing my makeup and I have to look in the mirror but still like when I'm talking to you I should be looking at the camera it's it's like awkward getting used to it I know some people put on mascara first and then curl their lashes and then put the eyelashes on. I like to put the eyelashes on, curl, and then mascara. I feel like that's the best way to do it for me personally. I don't know. Are these too much? I think I just haven't worn big lashes in a long time. So they're not too much. I just need to get used to them. This is why I make my eyebrows so dark in the beginning because by the time I have all the shadow and the lashes on, it just, it, you need it. You just need it. If you know, you know. This is my favorite lip balm. It's by Feel and it's their vitamin E balm. It just instantly absorbs. I don't know if that makes sense, but it doesn't leave like a greasy, greasy feeling on your lips and it doesn't take a long time to get in there. It feels like it's almost instantly working. 
All right. I'm gonna do my under eyes real quick. I think doing the under eye shadow and the white liner made a really big difference. I don't know. You tell me. If you drag your contour all the way up to the eyebrow, I feel like it makes this part right here so much skinnier. And then I'm gonna do this just to raise the tip of the nose. And then that's it. I used to do a lot more to contour my nose, but it was actually making it look bigger. So now all I do is the two lines and then right here, just to lift it up a little. And I'm just gonna blend it with my fingers because who cares? Not me. And I'm just, I'm gonna use that same finger to highlight. That's that same finger and that's fine. She's coming in clutch today. And this is the Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter. It's so good, I've been using it for years. Jeez, my nose literally looks like I had a nose job. I mean, <laughs> I'm just that good, damn. All right, I'm gonna use Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their uh, matte liquid lip. Now I'm gonna put this NYX Butter Gloss on top. This is in the shade Butterscotch. I think I have more than 10 of the same nude lip gloss basically by different brands in slightly different shades but i mean if you like a color what what else is there to do but get like 10 of them in slightly varying shades with almost no noticeable difference between each one tell me why i'm wearing a skin tight bodysuit like body clothes with red flannel pajama pants like it's a whole fit it's a whole fit i'm using the revolution sport fix setting spray this one's good it like i think it's meant to be a setting spray for like working out and like to be sweat proof but it works just for regular use too look I don't know I think it looks okay it's not it's definitely not the greatest but it's not the worst and like the idea is there you know blue shadow with the cut crease and the turquoise blue on the ends you know you get it it's there you get it all right this is the finished look I'm gonna go take their traps see you guys in the next video make sure you like and subscribe